that's an interesting one. Oh, I don't know how they're gonna get out of that one. Especially if, uh, especially if you said that. You may have said that. Oh, hello. Sorry, I was just uh, reading the paper. Oh, and also had some interesting thing in there. Yes, it said that the radio shipping forecast is 100 this month. Wow. That's a good going to still be here after all this time. Mm, people must really be viking it. And you can listen to it anywhere, inside or out. Yes, not just east and west, but north of Shire and south of Shire too. Mm, is there a difference? Probably not sure. Um, also, people of all ages listen to it too. You don't just have to be in your forties. I even know a bird that listens. Yeah, 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 you know. Marty. Yes, the crow. Crow Marty. Mm, very forthcoming. Or is him around about dinner time? Um, just don't ask him to cook. Last time he made an absolute dogger's dinner of it. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to go to the chip shop. I ordered a battered fisher. And before I had a chance to have my first chip, a Bavarian seagull swooped down and took a massive German bite out of my dinner. Uh, it wasn't great, so I had to go back and get a hamburger. I mean, I get that radio is the best place for the shipping forecast, as I can't see it working on Thames Television or even Dover on the other channels, which is the right decision. It's not everyone's taste, I suppose. A lot of people like cooking programs, you know, going on about the whiskey field, the brandy area, and the pork land. Mm. Woodlass likes watching television. She sits on the sofa and stuffs shortbread into her plimouth. Ooh, I've told her, it's Biscay business, trying to fit so many in one, but she doesn't listen. It'll just be like the time we had a picnic in Trafalgar Square and she got attacked by pigeons. Ooh. You know, the shipping forecast was established by Vice Admiral Robert Fitzroy. Mm, he actually also founded the Met Office, which is the sole reason that we have it. Ooh. Um, do they have it in France? Yeah, the shipping forecast, do they have it in France? If so, I wonder if they broadcast it every day of the week, even on Lundy. Mm. Um, I can't tell on the internet, as my fast net broadband has been playing up recently. Mm. Will someone come to have a look at it? Ha! Irish! Mm. See if it gets any better. And hope the issue doesn't go shun on and on and on. It won't be good if they end up doing rock all about it. Last time I waited for someone to come and look at it, nobody turned up. So I just ended up sorting Malin in plus it out. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to act like I'm one of those celebra hebrides. I just like to stop using the pigeon to send emails. Ugh, it's like I'm back in the Middle Ages, living in a Motton Bailey castle. To be fair, I'll wait as it might be weather related. I'm just trying to get, um, what's that phrase? All my ducks in a pharaohs. Oh, sorry. I'm rambling again. Mm. Anyways, where was I? Oh, yes. Happy birthday, the shipping forecast. Right, I better go do some shopping. Um, okay. Oh, sorry, what? The nearest supermarket shut. Mm. Oh, well, I suppose I'll have to go to the southeast Iceland. Mm. Okay. Bye, bye. Ooh, do, 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 do. 